let's do that. Go build me that. And we're like, uh, yeah. And so then we went out and built it. largest fuel cell electric vehicle in the world. Uh, and that's a crazy huge accomplishment uh, that I'm very proud of this team uh, for getting to that point. To my knowledge and understanding, that is the largest mobile hydrogen power plant in the world. And that's really exciting. And we went from nothing to get there. We've never done one of these before. This wasn't an upscale of a smaller than one that we'd done in the past. This was just a new thing that we did from scratch with a relatively small team of engineers, uh, none of whom had ever worked on fuel cells before. And I think that's incredible. The team working on the proof of concept is really an amazing group of people to work with. The depth of knowledge and not only the experience, but the interest and the desire to learn something new is truly inspiring and makes it fun to come to work every day. We've poured in a ton of blood, sweat, and tears into this machine, and it means a lot to myself, it means a lot to our company uh, and to Anglo American. I remember when there was a failure of a piece of hardware that was internal deep in the battery. And at that moment in time, I didn't think that this day would be possible. And so I will remember that moment as like a, a deep, stressful moment. But then seeing everyone pull together uh, after that was very powerful and uh, inspiring. They just keep going. But nobody gets upset and nobody gets discouraged. Like it's just like, okay, let's just keep trying and just keep going. and and we get there. It was a pretty surreal moment, uh, seeing what in the test cell was this massive monument and how small it looked in the air as it got put on the shipping frame and driven out of the parking lot. Parmland landed early November, uh, and in that first window there, our goal was to basically check out the power plant and then get it installed uh, mechanically in the truck. And then uh, January through March were essentially uh, uh, full build. So finishing up harnesses, coolant routing, just basically all the mechanical prep for the truck and uh, learn how to get the wheels to spin on that. So it's almost the full product. So you're taking it and just making that giant leap from something that's on paper and people you know, maybe didn't think was possible to showing something that is almost ready for, for operations. And so that I think is probably one of the biggest successes is being able to just make that giant leap of faith from nothing to almost the full thing. I can't imagine any other group of people that would be able to take this on uh, and do this well. I think we've got the right folks and we've got the right connections to be able to make this happen. And the Proof is down in South Africa right now.